What happens if you're one of the unlucky few that gets a squib round lodged in your barrel, followed up by an extra spicy overpower load, and that explodes the gun right in your face? You want to find out? I definitely want to find out, but I'm not shooting it. Well, who's shooting it? Bob's shooting it. Oh, that's right. We have Bob, but he doesn't have a hand. But Bob does have a hand. Bob does have a hand. Well, as you can probably guess by the content that we create, we are big fans of Kentucky Ballistics. Shout out to Scott. We love the Guns Go Boom series, and it kind of made us want to put our own spin on it. We're going to start down low. We've got a 38 special, but we just have one primer only to generate a squib, and then the other one has 10 grains of tight group, which is almost triple what it's rated to have, plus a squib load. We wanted to keep it powders that you would actually be using while you reload, and this is what happens if you go way over the top. Ballistic Dummy Lab sent us out some stuff that we can not only see what happens to the gun, what would happen to your hand? Is anything gonna come back? He's already kind of got a split face. This guy's brand new. He's your neighbor on the firing line that's a little too inquisitive. That's really it, and then a string to get way the heck back behind cover. And as always, we're gonna use Phantom cameras recorded about 150,000 frames a second should give us some good detail. Up first, I think we're gonna give it a proper normal muzzle exit. Yeah. Just to give it its few moments of fame on the channel before it goes bye-bye. All right, so this is gonna be this Taurus 38 Special's probably one and only shot. This is just the normal round, no trickery here. And it's live. Firing in three, two, one. Pretty darn simple. That sounded like a gunshot to me. Nice. 38 special, so slow. Satisfying muzzle exit though. Yeah. It's too bad it's about to get destroyed. All right, as always, that was cool high speed, but we have a squib load. This is empty casing, primer only. With any luck, it won't come out of the end of the barrel. And then we can load up this guy, which is completely packed. Kind of funny, you can tell it's heavier, but if you shake it, neither one of them make noise because there's <laughs> nothing and then there's no room. Let's see what a squib does. It's live. See if we can lodge a bullet. Firing the squib. Three, two, one. Is that it? <laughs> it's like that nothing it? happened. That was it? That was it. Well, I'm pretty sure nothing came out. And there's no bullet. Yeah. It's there? It's right there. Look. <laughs> no room. Oh, dude, that's perfect. It was only like that far in dude, there. Dude, that's perfect. Yeah. Babyous little sparks and oh, oh, some okay. got out there. So that must be the little gaps in the rifling. It kind of right. escapes around it. Little bits of debris, a little bit of smoke. So that means that when we do the fully loaded one, if that round even attempts to leave, it's not even going to make it out of the cylinder gap, which means <laughs> all that pressure is going oh, off man. right here. So we kind of have two parts to this setup here. One, we have an unrealistically curious person you would obviously never fire a firearm if somebody was doing this to you. That's just for, we just kind of want to see what happens going these ways. I'm kind of hoping part of the wheel snaps off and gets him right in the yeah. face. <laughs> and then this is the little bit more realistic one. You're behind it, you know, you'd have eyes and ears and everything, but we're going to see stand a piece of polycarbonate here to keep everything in our little box here. I hope to God this works. <laughs> I do too. All right, I'm going to load up the 38 Specials last round. It's live. High speed ready? High speed's ready. Give me a countdown. In three, two, one. Oh, that was so much louder. It's hard to tell what happened from here. Hey, I see the bulge Ooh. on that, but. Oh, dude, that's gnarly. Yeah. It's missing some metal though, which means we had some shrapnel. Oh, that feels like it broke. Oh. Oh, it must have broke because. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. Oh my god! I mean, it definitely destroyed that wheel and everything. And that's insane. Still see around in there. Really? Yep. So there's powder all over his face, but no real damage. 
So if there's a round in there, yeah, what happened to the round that was just fired? I guess they could both be in there? Like sandwiched together? Oh yeah. Oh, a lot more shrapnel than I thought. There's half that casing. Well, I can see why his finger's okay now. Yeah, let's do some frame by frame. Good fireball, oh, yeah. wow. Well, that might have burned you. It's hard to tell on that gel, but I bet he felt it if he was, yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean, this is still gonna scare the crap out of you for sure. Is that the bullet? About gotta be. It's about the sight, it's hidden by the smoke. It looks like that's the bullet. We might need to hit the other camera to see what's going on. So we've got one, two, three, four, maybe five big pieces of metal coming out. Yeah. And that's pretty fast too. And both those dudes got lucky. One of them went right between their heads. Man, we need some more frame rate though. We need to see exactly what's going on in there. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. Definitely the bullet. Look at oh, it. Yeah. It even comes out like <laughs> sideways a little bit yawed up. Look at all that debris. Oh, you can see it tear. Oh yeah. Wow. So it actually did come out towards camera some and then it turned. Okay. That makes sense. Good. I was kind of afraid we weren't really going to see like no. anything. That's pieces of two barrels like that little divider piece yeah, in between. That must have came like right off the top of it or something. <laughs> the whole thing just buckling up. I'm surprised that didn't break. I really wanted the top strap to like I know. Like fold. But even with all this escape routes on that wheel, it still broke. Did a bunch of damage. Quite a bit of it. Yeah. With one little 38 special bullet. Yeah, so I think if we find like a notoriously weak slide style pistol, yeah. and maybe we go for that one next. So it shot the squib and then re-squibbed itself. That's pretty, it literally traded places. What a cool piece though. This piece here looks like it's so close to have torn off. That would have been such a good shot seeing that fly over yeah. right into his face. It was like one, 2% energy away from being able to tear that off. Thanks for watching that video. Please subscribe. We are definitely gonna keep exploring this into the future with some bigger guns. I think for me, the goal is a 50 cal. <laughs> Just completely eviscerated that would be 50 cal. Sweet. Yep. But I think this was a good proof of concept. Obviously the destruction could have been a little bit more. Maybe if you've got a gun you'd like to donate, we can figure something out there. We'd obviously don't want to blow up brand new guns or anything, so. Right. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens when it's actually contained. I was hoping for a little bit more, but. Well, I mean, we got plenty of debris coming out and shrapnel, but it just didn't hit our dudes. Right. So. And the other thing is like, if we wanted to destroy it, I mean, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we but could. we were trying to keep it what you could accidentally load. I mean, we could run deck cord down the barrel if we really wanted right, to, yeah. but. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Again, head over to Kentucky Ballistics. He's got a whole series on this as well that we enjoy. So thanks to him for pretty much the idea. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Let us know what guns you want to see next blown up and see you in the next one. <laughs> Someone's going to be mad about that. And it's pointing right at <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs>